it gives me the opportunity to share with you my favorite sutta, which uh, is found in the Itivutika. And this is the simile of a rain cloud. And so the Buddha says there's three types of people in this world that can be compared to a rain cloud. The first is a cloud that doesn't rain. You've seen those kind of clouds, right? Just sad and lonely, small, by themselves up there in the sky, right? This is like a person who doesn't give. This cloud doesn't rain, doesn't give anything. In the same way, there are people in this world who never give, who are completely selfish, who are miserly. There are people like this in the world. They're like a cloud that doesn't rain. The second type of cloud is the kind of cloud that rains locally. So this is this is us most of the time. We rain locally. We rain on our family, we rain on our friends, our clan. And we do this maybe because we're expecting something in return or just because they feel like they're part of us, my family my friends, my favorite charity, my cause, right? So we reign locally. We only give to that. We don't give to other people's family. <laughs> we don't give to causes that we don't feel passionate about, that don't interest us. We don't give to strangers on the street, right? Maybe you only give to your monks. So this is like a cloud that rains locally. It's better than the cloud that doesn't rain, right? But it's limited. The best kind of cloud the Buddha says, the one that we should be like is the kind of clouds that come in the rainy season, those big, dark, vast clouds that you see filling the whole sky that are pregnant with rain and that roar and thunder and that drop huge expanses of rain all across the land, raining everywhere on everything. And the Buddha says these raindrops fall from those big clouds down onto the ground and fill up the tiny cracks. These cracks becoming full fill up the little creeks those creeks becoming full, fill up the rivers that fill up the lakes, those lakes becoming full, spill over into the great rivers. And these great rivers spill over, flow down, and, and flow out into the ocean. So this is a beautiful image, right? An image of abundance of fertility giving generosity is like rain the rain helps things to grow right when you give to charity when you give even to the sangha you help us grow right you feed us <laughs> and we can practice when you give um, uh, work clothes 
to a person who is homeless. They can apply for a job and they can grow. When you give money to people in developing nations, they can grow, right? So this is a beautiful image of abundance. You, know, you think every time you give, think, oh, this is growing something beautiful in the world. And we know when that water in the ocean evaporates, it goes up, goes into the clouds and comes back, rains again, right? This is that beautiful cycle. And in our own practice, we see this cycle. We're generous, we reflect upon the generosity, and we get joy. This is our, our generosity, our goodness, returning to us. And it helps our mind grow and develop. And so this is how we should give, the Buddha said, he said you should be like the rain cloud that rains everywhere, giving to everyone. Giving here, giving there, giving when asked. You delight in giving. Always happy to provide alms. And so think about the difference between those two clouds. One is raining locally. It's great, they're still raining. It's much better than the cloud that doesn't rain at all. But this cloud gives and isn't restricted, doesn't discriminate. And so this is quite difficult to practice sometimes. You know, people will always ask, oh, but, you know, should I give homeless people money? Um, or someone once said that if we were to give to people who ended up being drug addicts that we would cause overdoses. It's like, oh, this is very complicated giving, you know. So it doesn't matter if you don't want to give money, if you don't want to um, give money, give some food. If you don't want to give some food, give a kind word. There's always an opportunity to give The thing that we should watch out for is what stops us from giving. It doesn't have to be money, it doesn't have to be material, it can be a kind word, it can be helping, it can be service. There is always opportunities to give. And the thing that prevents us from giving to others, who we don't know, who we aren't invested in, who we don't have a relationship with, is simply our sense of self. That is what stops us. Me, mine, and I. So that's what we should watch out for. And that's the difference between why we give to those who we have an investment with, a relationship with, and what prevents us from giving to others. <laughs>